Hello and welcome to the video. And welcome to the start of the EGX Rest blog video. Here I am in my bedroom actually, because this is actually the night before I head off, because I've got to get an early start in order to get to the college in the morning in time to go to EGX Rest. So I'm recording this now so I don't have to do it tomorrow. I'll probably give you an update on the day just before departure. Yeah, I will. And, yep, yeah. I'm ready. Hey everyone, this is the morning of the convention and I'm walking. Yeah, just simply walking to the bus stop right now to get a bus to go to Gloucester, which is where my college is, to take about a three and a half hour coach down to London. Let's do this shall we? During the convention there was a whole centerpiece dedicated to the Switch, the new the new console from Nintendo. The amazing Japanese developers. Which we all know about because you know they seem to have this plumber guy they seem to like. But they haven't even released him on the Switch yet. They're just focusing on Link. The Legend of Zelda. Anyway, enough of me <laughs> blabbering on about another subject. These were simple games on the Switch which either just been released or not even been released yet. Uh, me and my friend Josh played a game which was like it was a 2D game where you controlled a robot in an unhumanized world, and you have to base and you just go mining. Uh, go mining, and you fight this boss guy who's trying to do something, I don't know, I didn't really pay attention, I just played it and played lovely on the Switch controls and the presentation was just amazing so I'm happy with how all this is going and unfortunately I don't own a Switch obviously because I don't even have the money for Smoke Sport Manager yet but I'm seeing the Switch being quite promising with what it's being delivered and well, good on Nintendo for it so whilst I was at the convention, it was very, very busy, so I couldn't really vlog that much, which I even didn't do that, because I was hanging out with people. But I did take a few photos, as you can see on the screen right now, seeing some of the pictures I took at the convention. I'm just going to note that the indie room, which you see on screen right now, was bloody massive. I swear it took up like half, almost half of the whole centre itself on the second story. I mean, this thing was just massive. And I went in there multiple times and found something new each time. I mean, this is just huge. Um, I just say it's an amazing place, and I played quite a few indie games while I was there, and they're all looking absolutely amazing. And if I had the money, which I don't at the moment, but if I did, and when I get the money, I would go and buy these games, and I highly recommend you do as well. EGX is just amazing at all this and definitely this convention here today at Res was astonishing. So later I progressed through, I played a, I played a board game which I can't remember the name of with a friend which was just fun really, I loved it weirdly and I'm not a board game enthusiast but I just love playing this game, it was just strategy, I basically turned into a madman with a gun and killed him. Yeah, I'm nice to people. Yeah. Sega! Well, one of the things I told myself I was going to do at the convention center was go visit my friends at Sega. And of course, as you see on screen now, I did do that. And yes, I got to reunite with one of my favorite unreleased games, Sonic Mania. And God, I'm just falling in love with it more and more each day, and I just can't wait for it to be released. Come on, Sega, release it now. I need it. <laughs> Definitely the recording of it I'm going to be doing. Yeah. But on the other side of the Sonic Mania, quite literally on the other side of the wall from Sonic Mania, was Motorsport Manager for the PC. I mean, I currently have the mobile port of it, and it's a fun pastime, and I love it and seeing this PC version and experiencing this PC version which I knew was out and I've just not had the money to get it 
is just pushing me more and more towards actually getting the game. And uh, one thing I would love to do with Motorspot Manager is actually record it for you guys. Uh, you know, give a series on it and show how I do it. Which I would love to do. I would love to make the video. It seems a fun game to pass time around. So I can't wait for that. But I just need to get the money in order to get it at the moment. And then it will be with you. So Motorspot Manager was there and other Sega games. As you can see, I just had to get a selfie with the massive Sonic statue that was in the room. Includes my EGX Resed video for today. I'm just going to say I absolutely enjoyed my experience there. And Jesus Christ, I'm going again. Maybe, maybe take a different mode of transport. The coach, three and a half hour bus coach journey. Yeah. That'll sleep both ways. Anyway, cover up that. Cover up, just cover that up. Hope you enjoyed this video, and feel free to subscribe for to me and like my other videos as well. So for now, tumble out. See you relatively soon. Goodbye. This is my